green capsicum farming green pepper sweet pepper green capsicum variety whatever you call them the journey has loading i can see the journey started we started by setting up the nursery you remember the nursery how we set up the nursery and everything the germination was super good and now we are at a point that we need to bring them for production from the nursery we want to bring them for production and um different things have been done i have plowed the farm the whole farm as you can see the whole farm is well plowed it's well set um, and it is plowed in readiness to receive the young seedling. As if that was not enough, the preparation continues. And now where I stand is the special area or the special unit where I will be doing the green capsicum. So the class has started. This is the class, the classroom. I'm preparing the classroom. Uh, you can see I've tied the loops. This is in order to make the beds. Uh, my system of irrigation has not changed. I'll be using override irrigation. Uh, I know so many you are, you have so many questions why to why I choose this type of irrigation. Uh, your questions will be answered as we go on and on. Because one, like I've been telling you, it fails with override irrigation, we learn. It succeeds with override irrigation, we learn. So there is no day that we will fail to learn. Either failing or either succeeding because I will share each and every moment, each and every time. I will share everything that you need to know about this uh, type of farming. So I've already tied the loops uh, at a spacing of 50 centimeters from one loop to the other. But at the end of it, I'm, I know I'm going to achieve the 40 required centimeters, the space from one plant to the other is supposed to be 40 but i did 50 because of making the trenches but ahead of it i'm good the transplanting will be at 40 so this one is just uh, the starting point and where we start making trenches so it's as simple i want to make planting trenches where i'm going to to apply uh, the lime or the fertilizer the manure if i have it but this time around i don't have the manure so it, it, it's as easy as that as simple as so after tying the ropes, this is how I do my trenches. It's, it's as simple as this. Very simple. And uh, so it's it's as simple as this. But um, if you cannot be able to do this, you can also use the, 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 the holes. If you are in a position to have to do this with a tractor the better because also the tractor does them very well so don't be worried about uh, my needs of uh, how i'm doing it you can use the tractor to do the trenches you can also uh, make the holes for planting those who are using the drip line you know we do the beds so it's as simple as this
There is nothing hard about that. There is nothing complicated about it. No rocket science. It's as simple as that. What you need is to plan, to have a calculated move, and to know what to do at what time. The preparation has started. Uh, the whole of this section has to be done. The whole of it, because this is where our training will be taking place, or this is where I'll be farming the the green capsicum so stay tuned follow other steps uh, because of the after these we'll go direct to the main point which is the planting and that will be our biggest starting point that will be one of the best uh, starting point as far as this capsicum is concerned we farm from the beginning up to the market. Hope you've learned with those few lines that I've made. And if it's your first time you're watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can continue learning together. Bye.